John Isabel, this afternoon we reached out to our viewers on Facebook and got dozens of responses of people from here who made the move to Florida. Two women tell me their communities are hunkering down for Milton while still recovering from Helene. Heather Knight sent us these photos. Take a look here. She's from Manchester, living in Bradenton now, and says these are just some of the preps happening. People installing shutters on their windows and on their doors. She says the traffic really throughout her county, that's Manatee County in Florida, has been horrible because some folks are just starting to evacuate and she says some gas stations are out of gas too and in Tampa a viewer named Amanda who's from the Concord area tells me there is still debris on the sidewalks and on the streets from Helene but tonight they both tell me there are some people starting to get worried I went to Target early this morning. It was completely wiped out of paper goods. Like I went to the grocery store this morning and the water was almost gone. Helene was just two weeks ago. So there's a kind of a heightened level of anxiety because that storm, people still haven't like kind of got back to like recovered from that yet. It's like a double hit within a short period of time. And folks are just kind of uh, uh, looking to, to make sure that they're uh, that much more prepared. And so tonight I asked Amanda and I asked Heather what we all can do right now as this storm moves in. They both say it's just important we check in on our loved ones living in Florida and for us to stay in the loop even after this storm passes on how Floridians are getting through these tough times. In the studio tonight, Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.